Oh, greetings gamers. Oh, I've still got a lot of things on screen that I shouldn't have right now. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Um, I think everything else is okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all Gucci. So, <coughs> welcome to MX Bikes GP. We are at round number 12. And if I'm honest, this is my first time on the track. <laughs> Not actually done any practice laps just yet. So, <coughs> we're going to be learning the track with me. I had uh, literally the second the track password released, I got a shout that dinner was ready. Uh, so I've just had to quickly jam all that down my throat. And now we're uh, we're back, we're in. So, the plan for today is we're going to attempt the Husky. If throughout qualifying, the Husky is absolutely dreadful and I, I'm like three or so seconds off pace, we'll, uh, we'll scumbag it, we'll, we'll go back down to the yammy, but... For now, we're going to try and see how the white bike does for us. And this is a track that I have a bit of a, a weird relationship with. Just on, on every game that I've played, I've never particularly done well on it for some reason. And I don't know why. Um, I should probably also bear with me. Just uh, keep Discord open at the same time. Yeah. So I can see when the, uh, the qualifying servers go up. And I think all the servers are good now. <clears throat> I think everything's all Gucci. So uh, we should be good to go. Should have no more uh, DDoS attacks, hopefully today. Or worst case scenario, if there is, we can now join the servers through the back end without even accessing the master servers anyway. So, how are we all doing? Good evening to Steffi. Hello Ruben, hello Foster, hello Martin, and hello Mr. J Frizzy. Hope you're all doing all right. Um, I used to go banger racing when I was younger, actually Martin. Uh, I had a babysitter when I was younger, or childminder, I should say. That might be more of a UK term. Um, but yeah, her, her sons used to do it, <coughs> so used to take me to watch during the day. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Something that uh, my family was debating on whether to get into or not at one point in my life. It just, uh, it just never happened. Hello, Steph. How you doing, man? So we're just trying to learn this track, really, today. I don't think anybody is going to be taking that left-hand side to step up there at all. <coughs> I have no idea if these tracks will be released for free at the end of the season. I know that the shop is doing that like mod of free mod of the month thing now. However, part of me feels like it won't be any of like the aerial or MX bike GP tracks. I think that they'll probably be all released for a discounted price at the end of the season, but I can't see them being free. Oh, that's actually quite satisfying jumping into that inside and then. I think outside there is probably best. I think if you go in any of the two inside ruts, it might be just a bit slow going into them. And then I was unsure when I watched JV's lap on inside Hi, here. Welcome to Chili's. But that actually feels alright going inside to outside. What's the far outside like up and around here? Oh, Proboso physics. That's what that's like. Jesus. <coughs> Damn. You're sick. Why are you sick? Oh, maybe I kept you up too late tonight. I'm sorry, Smiggy. It's fine. Yeah, servers are back up now, Martins. Uh, it's going good, CBK. Not too shabby at all. And luckily, I think... So, I don't know if I've tried using this Husky in, like, the super... super <laughs> in, like, the super rough stuff yet. Uh, I've used it mostly on TFC tracks that are fairly quite, quite flat, quite straightforwards. And honestly, so far, this track layout doesn't seem to be too rough either. So I'm very interested to see how it all holds together, to be honest with you. I feel like it might be okay in quali, but it might bite me in the race a little bit. <clears throat> oh, that's a weird... Hang on. Got a really weird... Oh, I think they've set it up automated Discord alerts when the servers go up. That's pretty cool. Rather than anybody having to type it. <clears throat> That is a very, um, that is a very strange coincidence, Mr. Smigdown. I do apologise for making you ill. Um, I think I signed up for this quite early, so I should be in Group A. I'm not in Group A. Oh, okay. That's concerning. I'm hoping, I, I feel like I signed up. I'm, I'm praying I signed up. Don't have to use any YouTube privilege to try and get me in. There we go. No. Group, group B. Group B. <laughs> Uh, not gonna lie, I was enjoying the mud content. It was one of my childhood games. Uh, you know what? I I've had it downloaded for quite some time, 
and I do just hop on for a race every now and then, and it's still quite an enjoyable game. Um, I would probably do away with the whole like energy drink boost stuff to make you go faster. It's like a little bit too over the edge arcadey, but the rest of it's fine. I don't even necessarily mind having a scrub button as such, rather than having like free form in the air, because they can't really make the bike feel horrible Hi, in whips if you can't control the whips. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Frizzy, what are you doing there, sir? This isn't a donation stream. What's happening? Twenty dollars? Not twenty dollars. Twenty pounds. I, f I always forget you from the UK. My bad. Thank you very much. Don't think you can give subs on phone. So here's the same amount. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> the the step ups overpowered. You should try. What, what step up are we talking about? On the oh, I think you mean on the left when you go back up to the mechanics bits. And um, thank you very much, Mr. Frizzle, Sir Frizzington. I'm going to try out the Husky Knoxville. Just going to try it out for qualify and see how it goes. If I'm really struggling with it. I'll, um, I'll switch back to the Yami. Just something nice, something different. Uh, not sure. Why doesn't it have. I literally copied my setup earlier. Why's it gone? That's very strange. Um, husky, husky, husky. <clears throat> Let's take some fuel out for now. Um, almost Sean. I, I thought I was pretty good. So, uh, when the stream. When the 12 hour stream ended, where am I? Wait. Yeah, I was about to say, um, I didn't recognise that pit lane. Was I was about to say, was I playing the wrong track? Or yeah, server, server went up on the wrong track. <clears throat> so, when that 24 hour stream ended, anyone, so it finished at midday for me. I slept for four and a half ish hours afterwards. Woke up at 4 30 pm my time. I then stayed up, I think, until. I want to say maybe like. 10, 11 o'clock, and then I slept like another 10 hours after that. So I suppose combined, I had like 13, and maybe more, like 16 hours across two days, which is actually pretty good overall. So on the surface, yeah, I feel like I'm okay. But I got into bed earlier, like just about, what time is it now? Yeah, I got into bed earlier about 6 pm and just fell asleep, <laughs> like without the intention of falling asleep. So I'm, I'm still tired, but we're, we're getting there. It's absolutely... I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I feel better than I thought I would. That's all I can say. I thought I'd feel absolutely horrendous for a long time. But managed to get up and go to the gym today and all that good stuff. And I'm just trying to get back to it. <clears throat> I'm, I am contemplating not doing NA tonight. Although every time I say that, I usually end up staying up to do NA regardless. There we go. Now I've got the setup on. <clears throat> Uh, patience, Mr. Pine. They will uh, they notice their mistakes and change it again. All Gucci. <clears throat> uh, my one rep Mac for bench at the moment, so it's only it's 70 kg. I don't know what it is in pounds though. You have to do that to conversion if you are a, a pounds over kg guy. Which I'm fairly happy with considering my body weight and the amount of time that I've been going. Definitely um, rookie numbers for a lot of people, but. You can only compare yourself to yourself. No point in comparing yourself to other people. <clears throat> oh, no worries at all, Frizzy. Well, I hope you're enjoying your holiday, wherever it is that you uh, you are. And yeah, no, definitely enjoy that rather than sitting here watching me. I appreciate the support nonetheless, but uh, have a have a good time. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cam. Grinding out dirt bikes in farm sim right now. I didn't know they did dirt bikes in farming simulator. Oh, I might have to I have to dabble. My brother plays a lot of farming simulator. It's a game that I've always contemplated buying, but always put off getting because I didn't know how much time I would actually put into it. I don't know if you need to go all the way around the outside there, to be honest. It's not a massive stretch of a jump through that straight like there has been on the uh, 2019 version of this track. Oh, we sliding. Hold on to it. Love that. Um, I'm not sure, Cam. I've not actually completed a lap yet. The entirety of uh, track release before the servers went up, I was eating food. <coughs> so only since the stream's gone live have I hopped on the track. No idea what laps are like. Oh god. I have. I've heard of Kevin. I don't believe that the left side there will be any better. You just uh, you go too high up in the air, I reckon, compared to the right hand side. 
Oh, this is going to be a very fast track. At least it feels fast on the surface. I wonder if I can cut down there in time and get that uh, get that inside rut as well. Ah, oh, god damn it! Now, some of these uh, some of these ruts might be a little bit tricky considering how fast you're going in them. They're not super super deep. Some of them. That corner there is going to be hell, by the way, once it gets super rough. That is going to be a fully stand-up only type of corner. It would be nice to be able to rail these ruts a little bit more, but it's, it's just on that, that sort of angle that the game doesn't like for the front end. It gets all sorts of twitchy and horrible. Right, can we flat track this and be faster? I feel like that was faster than going all the way around the outside. lean forwards the whole way up there or otherwise you get a little bit sketchy and I'm sure you can probably send it to flat there without any worries too. I do need to slow down on this one though because I keep jumping into it and messing up. Oh, oh I don't know if I like that inside. I have to do a few different, uh, attempt a few different lines throughout this track. Let's, let's try this left hand side. That is god awful. <laughs> yep, right hand side's much better there. Oh, that... So, <clears throat> biggest issue i found on the Husky at the moment is any bumps where you are slightly turning at the same time, the front end has a tendency to just wash away without any chance of bringing it back, whereas I think the Yamaha survives it a lot more. Exactly the same thing there as well. Our front end was on a slight bump and it just completely went. So that's, that's the, one of the things that scares me about it. I'm not sure how well it would hold up or how consistently I can ride it fast. <laughs> oh, how come you left Ace Might Okay. Uh, better see you on the Husky in main. Oh, you're going to try out the Honda. Oh, you didn't. That's cool. Um, so the next 24 hour stream, I want to kind of leave a couple of months bet between them all, because otherwise I feel like it is just taking advantage of you guys' wallets and bank accounts. So I just want to, uh, I want to leave a big gap so it doesn't look like I'm doing it just for the money. I mean, that is a, a massive motivator, of course. There's no chance you'd catch me staying up play in the game for 24 hours straight if there wasn't some sort of uh, <coughs> incentive. Yeah, I want to, I want to spread them out a bit more. It was very, very nice being able to talk to a bunch of new people on stream that never usually get to catch the streams because of where they're from in the world. Been a little bit, uh, a little bit rusty at the moment. Oh, actually, that inside's better than I thought it was. I just hit it wrong last time. You can kind of double up that from the right hand side anyway, so you don't even need the lip, li uh, the lip on the left. That's hard to say. Lip, lip on the left, lip on the left, lip on the left, lip on the left. Okay, so if I try cutting down here, and then that opens up this right hander a little bit more. I get to this inside, oh, it's a little bit skatey. Not sure I like that. I need to jump much further to the right there. I think I've missed that inside right nearly every single time. Oh, handlebars are tagging. I get this inside right as well. I've noticed with the tracks this year, Mr. JB has been placing some of the inside rights very, very close to the inside banking. Which is a good and a bad thing. It's good because it means you can't like just hit them absolutely pinned everywhere. Bad because it's very, very easy to tack your handlebars and have an instant fall off. I think Toys and Tool was probably one of the biggest uh, biggest culprits of that. Oh, nobody's run as smooth lap yet. I've, I've crashed every single lap and... Uh, so I need point two off the top. 
if you hit that downhill good enough, you can literally step down it. It's almost like a, a plateau to turn it into a double. Oh my lord, hold on, dear. I think trying to focus on being really smooth on this uh, Husky is very, very important. It can't take as much of a battering as the Yamaha can. Alright, more to the right. Oh, but again, the inside's got exactly the same problem where you're really close to the banks, so you can't crank the bike over too much. You can see there where uh, David hit the right hand side, it's just so much slower than taking the low line on the left. And what I've seen so far, I feel like this could end up being quite a one line track in terms of racing. Now, there are multiple lines everywhere, but I just don't know how, um, how viable they all are. Start. God damn it! Yeah. Oh, and you see the front end. Front end just can't hold on. Yeah, no, so you're right, man. How long do we have left? Oh, we've only got a minute left of uh, of warm up. <laughs> uh, since I know you played Roblox to check out Motocross, have you ever thought about hosting your own tournament? No, not not on Roblox at all. I'm definitely not invested in it enough. And my sort of thing. It's fun for like ten minutes at a time, and then. Outside of that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play it. Uh, still working on the track so far. Um, although, uh, to be fair, I didn't. I wasn't having the most fun or the best time at Germany. The track feels quite flowy so far. I just don't know how it's going to race. It was very, very tight, tight and twisty. Oh, hit the inside nice that time. Just got to do that every lap. That's the key. You sender. Deep Proboso blesses me today. Nope. Yeah, it does feel quite tight. I think that's Lockett's layout in general because the, the the addition of it that already existed in the game before this, the 2019 version, it did also feel quite tight and twisty. So as if you look up on the track map, there's not really any long straights, like long sections or weeper sections at all. It's just kind of short straight turn, short straight turn, short straight turn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick to the outside there. <clears throat> yeah, ser servers are all fixed now, Lucas. Should be no issues with them. Uh, back in like beta 16 ish days on the, uh, the other Locket version, people doing sub 120s. I think I saw a 119 here and there. It's a track that was played quite a lot that people got very, very fast at. Was never my uh, was never my fastest of track. I can never keep up with that sort of pace. It's free world. Uh, no, I'm not going to be sticking around after the race. Not sticking around just to do hey, pop laps and stuff. It's not it's not in my interest anymore. hot lap period of my uh, career has disappeared. Oh, that was nice. They might have to go outside in the corner before it's hit like that, because I think the outside just wastes a lot of time. You're taking a lot of extra track. Waiting for this, uh, waiting for this quality session to start. There we go. Finally. Right, <clears throat> the track. Well, annoyingly, it's been—it's it's always the case on the track. It's very, very difficult to get to the finish line just to start a lap. To cross the, uh, the track multiple times, I don't want to hit the timing gates by mistake. Here, it's like the long way round. Oh, I'm all right now. I'm at MX best. I'm getting there. Still, still a bit on the tired side, but we're recovering. Am 
might as well go inside. I think depending on where I land that finish line jump will determine on if I go inside or outside. Trying to go on me again. Yeah, it's very concerning. It's happened more times than I would like, just in a very short space of time. Oh my god, I can stop! I just bounced as soon as I landed, so my brakes weren't doing anything. this second rut like. That would be better if I could actually hit it. Oh, that outside just kind of ends. It kind of stops towards the end of it so you can't get turned, turned around the corner. That's not one. It would be a viable second line choice if it actually went all the way around. Not vibing with the Husky too much around here just yet, if I'm honest. Right, at that time I completely messed it up, so we're going around the outside. Timely. Like, it costs you so much time doing stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, the bike feels very, uh, very twitchy at the moment. That's all. Like, best way I can explain it. It doesn't feel planted on the track. Because like, as soon as you get into a little bit of uh, rough stuff, <clears throat> you're kind of, kind of a passenger. I don't actually like any line in that corner. <laughs> I don't know which one I want to take. I keep overshooting it. Careful. Can I double that? Oh, okay. I think that might be quicker than what I was doing. Rather than me checking up. I'm so used to the old layout of the track. That way you have to scrub it and you can't double up and over. Who goes there? Big balls from Mr. Smarties MX. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Have you ever missed a stream, Smarties? I feel like you've been in every single one that's ever existed at, at some point, even if it's just for a couple minutes. See there, like the back end just stepped out for just a second, enough to unsettle the bike, and I don't know, I just feel like it shouldn't have. Jumping too far inside it, I'm going to get weird physics. God damn! It's frustrating because you can, you know when it's going to happen. You can see it coming. I just can't do anything at that point because I'm already in the air and my angle's already predetermined. Oh, you bugger! And then of course the bike has to do a couple of uh, a couple of bounces, a few rotations, to face backwards. Oh, this uh, we'll get lots of weird physics throughout the course of this race. Yeah, it's just the game. The game doesn't like hilly tracks at all. Anything off camber is basically a no on this game. How far can we get away with sending this? Oh, oh again, uh, try to pop into every one. Yeah, no, I, and to be fair, it's a good way of getting noticed because right, uh, I definitely recognise your name all the time now. Thank you very much.
This qualifying session just feels a bit weird. I feel like I'm just going lap after lap after lap. Athleto seems to be enjoying the track. He's uh, gone 4.7 seconds quicker than everyone else. Alright, I guess I'm missing that inside. And we double to the inside here this time. Yeah, it's nice and smoothly. Love that. Alright, stay lower in that berm. Stops you getting some weird physics as well. Noted. Just take our time into this inside, nice and easy. Jump across. Take my time here as well, get on the brakes early, nice and smoothly. Might even be one of them tracks where slowing down makes you go faster. Not when you slide out there in a very annoying spot. Oh, I missed the double. Lap's still alive. Oh, it was. Not anymore. Oh, I was, I was actually had enough time there to go top. That's annoying. And then I've massively overjumped that. God damn it. Right. We'll go again. That was fast ish. It wasn't amazing by any means. Cut across the track here, getting everyone's way. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I finished it all completely fresh. Uh, all the streams are still up on YouTube if you ever want to go and uh, go digging through my live streams and have a watch from it from start to finish. Didn't take me as long as I thought. I think it was about eight hours or something in total. That doesn't sound right. I've done full streams on it, and they were definitely longer than uh, like twelve minutes each. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll get back on the track. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not going to carry that lap on. There's no point. <laughs> that was disgusting. Ah. Uh... Oh, I've been Gucci. You know, it's, it's just an average day for me. That I don't really get up to much on a day to day basis in terms of like exciting, important things. Woke up, had breakfast, went to the gym, had lunch, sat here, played a bit of uh, Saints Row the Third because that was on sale on Steam. Played that with Charlie. And then we're here now. We've got to this point. How was your day been? I can feel the collisions in the foot pegs hitting the ground on that flat corner. Break traction coming out this corner this time. I'll slow it down, gonna be safe. Oh, I'm still landing on that bloody annoying bump. I'm just gonna send the finish line here because that felt like a fairly clean lap. I don't think it's gonna to be top of qualifying in general, but it's top of this session for now at least. We can uh, we can take that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel okay. I do. Ju I just feel generally tired, and that's not really much different than usual for me. And I don't know if that's the 24-hour stream's fault or or not. To be completely honest. Hello, oh, Scotland, you're up, man. Uh, tracks all right, to be fair. It actually it, it rides well. It flows well. There's just a couple of really tricky corners, like for the ruts. You have to be very, very precise. It's very easy to either turn too much or not enough and end up spitting you out of the ruts. Ah, that's um, that's not how you want to do that corner. But that, it's, like, it's, it's such an annoying track as well, though. It always has been to go and, especially in qualifying, from where you just pull in the pitch, you got kind of like ride across really off camber terrain, trying to get back to the uh, to the finish line. 
Just to make the most of your time, really. I'm um, good, thank you, Sunny. Hope you are as well. The Husky feels good when it feels good. And it doesn't when it doesn't. This, I know that's a very obvious thing to say. But I think a few people will understand exactly what I mean by that. But if you get it perfect, it feels really nice. And if you're off by a, by a hair, if you're off by a fraction, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be punished for it. Uh, no, this game will never come out on console, Dirt Rider. Just for licensing. We just need to go wider there. There we go. Need to exit that super wide so my uh, bars or pegs don't clip. I'll keep this in third gear this time. Oh, I went a bit too wide around there. That cost me a bit of time. I hook further to the left here, so my foot pegs haven't got a drag on the floor. I'll jump too far. I'm going to take the second right rather than the inside one, which is going to lose me to the tenth. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't. I generally couldn't tell you why my back end stepped out there. I feel like I hit that the same as the other few times, and that cost me an entire second of time. Which I am definitely not going to get back. Is that the bike feels super nimble? I don't think like nim nimbleness is what I need out of it. If anything, I need it to be a bit less nimble because I think that might be what causes the the front end and the uh, the rear end slide outs and tucks. But one thing you'll notice on this bike and on the KTM as well, which is not something that the Yamaha suffers with, is your if you're lent over too far, you will feel the foot pegs dig into the ground, and it will spit you spit you up. Which is why the uh, the Yamaha is the fan favourite, because it just handles better in every way imaginable. two temps there, or three temps. I was up by point like three five and lost in a couple of corners, but the corners felt okay. Could have done much better. <clears throat> that is a very long time, sir. Almost our two year anniversary together. That's cool to know. We've got, we've still got six minutes left. I don't I can't actually see myself beating that time just because of you know, yeah, that husky things. At least this way, when Hells is 2-3 seconds a lap faster than me, I can blame it on the Husky rather than blame it on a skill issue. Don't know why the front end's gone there. I, I, again, I feel like I hit it the same as the, uh, the lap that it didn't do that on. Well, do you reckon, I reckon if I left, join the game on Yamaha and join back, even with like two minutes left by the time I leave and get back in, I could probably beat the lap time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stick to this. Tight, tight inside down here. I've not taken it yet. 
and I don't, I shouldn't do it. Okay, the rut literally starts halfway around the corner. I don't know how you're meant to get stopped and turn in time for that. Middle right is. <clears throat> I regret my decisions because I think I was up by like point three. Uh, no reason at all, Nizzy. Just fancying a change. Uh, the bike's not better by any means. Just fed up of uh, riding the same thing every single week. I don't even downside this bloody finish line, right? I, I've still got the 2019 track in my head in terms of finish line. You have to jump it a bit further on that one. I wonder how many people I've been sketching out by riding the track backwards here trying to get back to the track. Oh, that was clean. Little transfer up and over the berm. just <laughs> I don't get it I think I could easily hit that corner that speed on the Yami and be fine it's that the uh, the husky front end it doesn't want to grip in and turn it just pushes forwards over the bump oh uh, we're rhyming again crime against rhyme it's too late for me to leave and join back on it now but we'll see I'll uh, I'll been testing after this and see what lap I run compared to this There's a good old back end stepping out, followed by front end twitch. Ah. Yeah, it's enough for me. Uh, I think everyone says so. I had a 129.1 basically. Switch the Yamaha and see if I can beat that at all. 129.1. Uh, race, you're probably looking at like 20 minutes for the races to start. 129.1, need to remember that. Alright. <clears throat> uh, eeny, meeny, miny. No. Put this on 2 litres as well, just to be fair, because I was running 2 litres on the Husky. Alright, I'm going to go down to there. When I work our way down, I'm going to set a marker down here as well, so I've not got to keep doing this out of the pits all the time. Hurry up. Transfer. Oh. I'm going to pop a UE. Skrr. Marker. Right. 129.1. <laughs> Might take me one or two attempts just to get used to the old, uh, the old Yamaha's handling again. Gearing's longer on the Yamaha as well. Maybe that helps in terms of smoothness. I don't think the raw power on the Yamaha is any better at all. It's just smoother overall. Yeah, I'm absolutely sending that by mistake. Because I hit the bumps and got rebounded to the moon so my brakes can't work when your tyres aren't on the floor. Oh, okay. This is incredibly scrappy. This is not going to be better than a 129. Stop for this inside. Front end feels a lot more stable. 
Oh, I'm not stopping for this inside. We're going to step over it. Lovely. Definitely intentional. A lot uh, it feels a lot stiffer going from the Husky to the M, actually. You know what? I'm not going to bother messing up my muscle memory. I'm going to go back to the Husky. Because I didn't automatically uh, beat that. I didn't feel super close to beating it, so we're going to stick with it. I'm going to say that it is all a skill issue, and it's all in my head, and that you can do well on this bike. Thank you, Mr. Maddo. Uh, no, I ran. You, you can't even run 0.75 liters flex. The lowest you can go is uh, go is one. I never use gallons, so maybe you can go to 0 0.75 gallons. And I look, had it had it on two, had it on two the whole time. Although I should be having it on more than that because the race fuel was like 7.2 ish. I think I think that's what I usually run. Hello, Marmalade. Uh, I'm very biased in terms of what the best MXG tr MXGP track is because I've done incredible Erno, so I'm going to say that it's Erno. And I always have a soft spot for Erno. Especially since it was in the rain as well. We love rainy tracks. You just see how, how unstable the bike is the whole time. It's just, just constantly trying to twitch and step out from underneath me. It's only so gentle I can be. It gets to a point where you feel like you're just tiptoeing around the track, hoping that the bike doesn't step out on you. Uh, right there, the bike hasn't actually turned left when I told it to turn. Ah, oh, can we turn? Uh, can we turn Locket into a mudder as well? That'd be great. You reckon I can triple to the outside over this bump here? <laughs> Maybe I had to go a bit hard on that. Oh, I mean, I, I can get angry at this. I can't just, I can't stop playing it. I just cancel the stream halfway through. Um, you're a bit late to the party there, uh, in terms of the servers dying. They've been dead for about three or so days, but they are alive again as of today. Uh, everything is back to normal. Everything's all, all good. We should go and investigate the start straight. I think. I see what's happening over at the start. This is a uh, notoriously difficult one like inside is usually super super op here everyone drifts out really far wide so you do get screwed over if you're if you're out wide although I'm gonna say gate one is not op anymore this is a uh... yep yep great that's a good start gate that i can't stop playing this game anyway this game's given me a youtube career I have to keep going, I have to keep gaming. As long as I don't um, burn myself out on it, and I'm absolutely fine. Because surprisingly, I'm still okay after 24 hours straight. But if I was to play it multiple hours per day, I wouldn't want it. Um, I do, what I want to do actually is, uh, I need to do a video for tomorrow. And I think I know exactly what I want to do it on. I want to do that um, Warren Speedway track that's like a figure of eight with a bunch of people. So if you are free at the end of this stream and want to hop in there, just pay attention to the Discord because I'll let everybody probably very shortly after the stream ends. Get that all done in between EU and NA. If I had to guess my qualifying spot, bearing in mind I was in Group B, not Group A, where usually all of the super fast people are. I would say maybe like fourth in qualifying. If I'm lower than fourth, I'll be upset because the one lap that did feel good, it did feel pretty damn smooth. I was quite happy with that. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, whilst you're here as well, Jay, actually, um, do you know if it's been uploaded to the MyMXB server list at all yet? It's usually when I want to cover these weird and wacky tracks uh, when they've not been released for long. I have to host it from my own internet rather than the Deddy because they're not actually up yet. I think you'll be second. Oh, I wonder who I'm second behind, Dylan. What one person in this community could possibly be at the top of qualifying? Uh, I was, uh, so the, the groups, Nizzy, it's just done on when, what time you sign up. It's not based on skill at all, but usually the people in Group A are the people that sign up as soon as sign-ups open. Usually the people that are more just dedicated to the series, they tend to be the faster players. So it's, it's not done on speed at all, it's usually just by coincidence. Got our, uh, I reckon we've got our times up here. We load up the website. IMXB. Let's move this over here. You should be able to see this, I hope. Right, racing. Sign ups and groups. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, no worries, Smiles. Sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you again for being for being good, as always, for being cool. Um, I will uh, I'll catch you next time. Uh, get some rest, get some sleep, recover. Damn, they're not up yet. That surprises me. I really thought they would be. Oh well. Back to barking the virtual dirt course, I guess. How, uh, Dylan, how are you finding the Honda around here? Is it just a, a difficult track in general, or am I making it a husky thing when it's not a husky thing? There they are. I feel like the bike should be getting lent over a bit more than it is. Oh god, what's, I can't even see this donation because I'm tapped out. Let's have a look what's going on here then. Oh, Mr. Chris, Chris is back. You do love to see another stream. Do love it. I'm glad you boys love it. I love to see you back as well, sir. Where, where did you go on your big old break? Because you've gone for ages and now you're back all the time. I mean, I'm very glad to see it. Glad you're back, man. Thank you very much for the support, as always. Results be up. Right, I'm not going to look to see where I am yet. I'm going to analyse myself. I'm going to look at the chat. Of course he's in P2. 0.9 off the holes on a Yami. That's not bad. I think this man is, like, way easily in control of this championship as well. It'd be nice to see him mixing up the bike a little bit. I see no bananas. What's going on? Not a single yellow bike. Hmm. This actually that's a massive gap to be fair. 0.9 to me, and then another 0.9 back to Dorian, and then 0.7 to Dylan. So the gap between first and fourth is like two and a half seconds, which is nuts. And then the gap from first to fifth is three seconds. So basically. I just need to get a somewhat decent start and just ride around the track and come home for a nice P2. Basically. Uh, let me... Hang on. I'm going to close my... Uh, you can see my nice squeaky chair. I'm going to close my window real quick. Oh, you'll still be able to hear me. Oh, I'm getting old, though. Right. They're closed. No fresh air for me. We're committing to the uh, hot PC air, the gamer air. Oh, right. Oh, by the way, would anybody be interested in seeing the new uh, Shaker Cup that I bought? Show it off for you. I'm going uh, to put it on the stream in a second. Bear with. Basically, my uh, Shaker Cup I have been using, I may or may not have forgot to wash it for a week, week straight. And no matter how many times I wash it now, the smell will not come out of it at all so i've had to throw that one away and i got a new one arrived today so i've just taken a picture on my phone i'm just going to put it in discord and that should be sent now let's go over here the lens and then to member chat look at that 
Nice little, nice little cute pink, pink shaker car. <laughs> now, the reason that I've got this one is all of the shakers that I've been seeing online, they've got like a metal ball in there. And I don't like that. So this one has like a little mesh grid that sits in the top here that mixes it rather than a metal ball that goes around. So I've chosen flat. And at the end of the day, I am very, uh, I'm very slay queen. So should all be Gucci. Uh, I need to move this over here and load MXV. Cam, are you doing um, are you doing 450 or 250? Well, that, to be fair, Chris, that is um, that's good enough reason as any. Mountain bike W. Practicing for aerial, so yeah. Oh, you you staying down to do two fifty some more? Absolute sandbagger, sir. This is from the man that won one MX Bikes and Nations on a four fifty. What's going on? I like that at the moment I've got the secret information on what two fifty bike is going to be OP when the next OEM update comes out. And I am legally not allowed to say anything. It's not legally. I would just get much hate. But I, I know. I know the information. But I cannot divulge this information. Uh, no, the, the, quali the QP versions of the track... Eric is mostly just for like newer players to the game. It's just an easier version of the track overall. Um, the, the idea at the start of the season was to use those, but it turned out there just wasn't enough of a skill gap in them at all. And so lap times were just far too close together. There wasn't much uh, separation. So we started using the, the race versions for qualifying. <laughs> it's your boy. Uh, skinny, skinny penis. penis. Can I get a hiya? You can get a hiya. Thank you, Mr. Maddo. We've got a lot of South Africans. I think I saw someone comment on. Um, it might have been just in the MX Bikes Discord in general the other day saying that they're the only South African that plays the game. I'm like, well. No, I, I know there's quite a few South Africans that, uh, that watch me play on stream. Uh, yeah, it is, it is a pretty one, Neil. Uh, only still, issue is... I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> the game physics don't really like it too much. I mean, this is a nice pretty view over top of it all. There's a lot of uh, weird, weird MX bikes things going on at the moment, which is hella annoying. You have to be very, very precise and very smooth. And I'm glad you're here, Neil. I've been meaning to mention to you. So, uh, your track on Sim. I tried to record a video on it. I've tried multiple times to record a video on it, actually. And I can't with the FPS. Even if I turn down my graphics super low to get the FPS to a point in game where it's playable, I then, as soon as I press the record button on Streamlabs, my recording goes super laggy, even if my game isn't. I've tried then recording, I was just wondering if my Streamlabs was being buggy, and I tried recording another track on CM and other games in general, and it was completely fine. So I have no idea what's going on there, because it would have been yeah, nice, a, a nice fun track to show off, but uh, my PC can't handle it, which is annoying, because I feel like I've got a very, very good PC. Race one is starting. What do you mean race one is starting now? The servers haven't. Even... There's been no notification that the race servers have gone up. What do you mean race one is starting now? Discord. Oh God, hang on, hang on. MXBGP. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a big old lie. There we go. MX one race A. Uh, you are wrong, Victor. I am there. What they mean by leaving Quali is if everybody leaves Quali before the time expires, then the server resets. Just the lap times don't count for anybody. If one person leaves and people are in there until the end, then it's fine. You're all, you're all good. 
So I, I had faith that there would be people in the... I probably shouldn't have that much faith because there is a chance everyone could leave and then their results would mess up, but I live life on the edge. Have you had any thought about potentially porting it over to MX Bikes at all? Because I would 100% be down to playing it on this game. And I'm not going to lie, it could well end up on the MXB shop with a track of that quality just from the little bit that I've played. I know there's a couple people in the community that are very good in terms of getting the scaling from one to the other and making it work really well. And if, uh, yeah, if, it, if you ever do put it onto bikes and you get it on the shop, I will be more than happy to do a video on it and hopefully get some more traction going its way. Get you a couple of extra sales, I hope, from the YouTube, YouTube video. That seems to be the way that it goes with those videos, is when you guys see me do a video on a track, like the day or four, just before it gets released, it's usually like this unwritten transaction really that I get to play it a tiny bit early so a video does well because it's something that nobody's seen yet and then the creator tends to get a bit more traffic and a couple more track sales because people have watched that video and they're interested in it. Oh I just punched my desk while I was trying to itch my eye. Nice. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I think you can ride the track, Rex. But if you, if you can't, I'm in trouble right now. But I'm pretty sure you can ride the track. I don't know if they reset it or not. I had the... I just felt a couple of uh, framey areas there. And I don't even think the lobby's full yet. Yeah, the track is very fast, Doug, which um, is not a good thing on this one. It's very difficult to get a nice, smooth lap going. Keep messing up all my braking points, all my turning points. I've got so many people doing the track backwards, what's going on? People just practicing their starts. I think they are. Do you think you will be uploading any more uh, riding soon? Unfortunately, not at the moment, Chris. Not even from a sake of not going riding, but from a sake of having no way of recording said riding. My GoPro is fully boofed, like not working whatsoever. And I had a look at the Insta 360s, because a couple of people suggested going down that route. And it's just, I can't justify spending that much on another camera at the moment, just for the sake of an upload maybe once a month max. Um, which is a massive shame, because it does make nice easy content for me, and, and you guys do enjoy it. Uh, it's just on the back burner for now, until I can either find my original GoPro purchase email to try and sort out the warranty and get a replacement, or I bite the bullet and, and buy a uh, a replacement overall. Nice and gentle on the brakes. I think, just on a couple of laps I've done so far, this road is going to be brutal. There's only been a couple of lines, or a couple of fire tracks in each corner, but you can you can actually really feel it.
Not bad. <laughs> Not bad, pimp. Uh, Meta 450 is a Yamaha at the moment, Eric. Lots and lots of blue bikes. Uh, I think I'll, I'll run 7.2 litres, I think. I might bump up to 7.5 because I'm already down to 6.3 and I've only done like two laps. <laughs> I think as long as you're around the 7 and above mark, you should be pretty safe. I just like playing it extra safe sometimes. The last thing I want is to go 30 minutes deep into a moto and then run out of fuel before the finish. It's just a bit of an L. I will bump it up, actually. There you go, 7.5. I haven't even chosen my gate yet. don't want gate 1. Yeah, sure, something like that. That's a lot of... Oh, I don't like that at all, actually. Uh, set up, yeah, of course you can. Let me just load defaults so you can see what's different. I'll just, uh, I'll quickly skim through it, so feel free to pause it as and when you want. So, Uno, Dos, Tres, and Cuatro. Ah, to be fair, Cam, you did ask for it. <laughs> you did ask to get burned. There's a lot of people banned this week as well, just people that didn't show up or retired from Moto One and didn't do Moto Two, etc. But there should be a lot of uh, a lot of new faces today. A lot of people we've not seen before, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully, it means that everybody will stick around for Moto Two. Uh, bad thing is, it there might be some new lappers that haven't had to try and get out of the way properly before. bad time to uh, need the toilet again, isn't it? I feel like as soon as I go, the race will start, and then there's no way, there's no, there's no return point for me then. Yeah, Alan, there's no, um, there's no set skill level at all for this, as long as you sign up beforehand. Oh my, am I just? Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's hitting me. Go around. What's going on? Am I am I invisible? I'm just going in a dead straight line. I'm not swerving side to side. Just taking my time. Still getting run into by absolutely everybody. <laughs> this is uh this is what I'm referring to, by the way, in terms of uh, newer people in the races could be a bad thing. Oh, there's good old bear as always riding through people. Uh, currently working on a low res, something with less bells and whistles should help a lot of people's computers. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. That'd be Gucci. That'd be fun to uh, to play it like to to the best of my ability. I did get it to run smooth, but I literally had to turn all objects off, like object detail down to nothing, which is weird because obviously I can't talk about the quality of the individual modules. That's probably what does it rather than the number of them. But on the surface, just when you're riding around, it doesn't look like there's that many models in general. I'm guessing it is just due to the quality of them. Oh, I need to go inputs. Let's put that on so I know what I'm doing out the gate. Right. It's my own number one time, boys. Oh, I, I know I was I was sat in the main ruck, you see. My point being is they can see where I am already and it shouldn't be that hard to just go around. Like that's what you would do in a race sense rather than going through people. I know that it's like it's not the race itself or anything, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. But that's just how I feel. I usually try and... Yeah, I usually try and move around people. Oh, right. Race time, boys. Mim, 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 mim. I always want to do a lens launch at the start of this. Mm 
Oh, that's a god awful start. I need to get wiped out by stray bikes, or oh, we've hopped over one. I think I've come out of that pretty damn good, considering I swerved to the outside. Sir? <laughs> Hope I didn't take him out. No, I didn't like Silerius bike. Who was it? Crap wet. I guess I'm going outside. Jumped that way too far. Wait, am I in P... Okay, I'm in P2 somehow. I'm not sure how that's happened. I had a god-awful jump. And this is where we just take our time. We ride around the track. Don't do anything stupid. Should be Gucci. There's going to be lots of front tucks in that long corner there. I can tell you that already. We've got Ben out in front. It's like Ben's been someone that I've been seeing a lot of recently, just improving week in and week out. Come on, can I get the Husky in the front of the pack just for half a lap? Can. We're technically in the lead right now. That's good. We'll take it. Nice and easy. There is no need to rush around here. I think people that have got particularly bad starts are really going to struggle to come through the pack on this track. Oh, look at Yeah, that's going to get super deep. Slow down a bit more this time so I can get this inside. Oh, gone too far. God damn it. Less mistakes like that, please, Mr. Linz. Yeah, I imagine this track would be uh, good fun on the smaller bikes. Maybe even a 125. It can be quite fast. Oh, look how deep this is. I didn't check to see what the erode value was on, but. A lap one? This is pretty insane compared to normal. I don't know if it's because on this track everyone is filtering into the same line rather than spreading it out across two or three different routes. This is going to be front tuck simulator halfway through this, so just need to try and stand my way up or find the point where I should start standing up. Someone's only just gone across the finish line. Oh god, don't touch the front, don't touch the front, don't touch the front. Right, don't want to take off on the right hand side of that. Noted. Point one five doesn't sound like a lot. Unless the soil and all that is just different on this track, because yeah, it's quite uh, getting pretty deep already. Point where I'm already having to slow down a little bit coming into some of these corners. And we're literally on lap three. What's this going to be like at the end of uh, end of Moto Two? I reckon there'll be a point in this race where I just have to start exploring for different lines. Especially since Husky does not like the rough stuff at all. I'm sliding out there. I feel like I've been very, very gentle on the throttle. Oh, 
that might give me some cuts going through that uh, that bale there. Yeah, there's, probably, there's a very high chance that I might have a sound mod on this. I generally couldn't tell you off the top of my head. I know I've added a bunch of sound mods to different things when these OEMs first come out because I didn't like the sounds of them. Oh, we've got a respawn delay on. Good to know. One and a half seconds. Back end, they be feeling loose. I have to be going faster than one thirty threes, though. That's um, not really good. Imagine with how fast this track is. Yeah, a lot, a lot of fun on the 250s, I reckon. Ah, here we go. First lappers of the race. A lot of people going all the way around the outside in this corner. Look at that, double you lapping. I'll say thank you to him for that. Heads up riding, getting out of the way. Don't turn. Oh, my ass, I'll just puckered. Jesus. That was stressful. That was such a far section as well. I wouldn't have even blamed him for pulling out there. Like, there was no way of knowing that I was coming. Awful. Oh, 
jump over it. Oh, blue flag. Thank you. Imagine how wild this game would be if you had, uh, had like open mics, just voice comms. Scream, people screaming at lappers, you know, all sorts of uh, racial slurs going on. Some very lovely, lovely words being exchanged between riders. Should be screaming the word blue flag behind lappers, it'd be funny. Very sloppy look. Not an ideal type place to crash, is it? That was a bit of a shit one as well. Front front wheel just pushed over the uh, over the berm. And now we have Mr. Halls all over my anus cheeks. And I know that he's going quite fast today because he did not start anywhere near the top ten, and he's already come through the pack and is working his way on me. Found our first cowie. That upshift sound is actually awful. <laughs> Makes me cringe. I'm gonna keep it in third gear rather than going into second gear because I always shift down second and then straight back up to third. It feels pretty pointless. inside line here it might be better but again it's one that I've not taken and I'm quite scared to change mid race a cheeky thank you in the air there Tiptoeing his way around the track. Ooh, it'll be unsettled in the corner. Oh, I'm not stopping in time. Oh, I don't know how I have. Jesus. Didn't mean to go that deep. I don't feel bad about that. <laughs> It was a position, maybe, but Lapper, not so much. Oh, we're jumping deep. Jumping very deep. What on earth has just happened to my front end? <laughs> there is no reason for that. There is no need for it. Just MX bikes things. Got them weak, them weak arms. Can't contain the front end. Oh, 
god. It gets to a point, to be fair, where you just have to accept it. There's no point getting annoyed by it. There's not much you can do to stop it. Uh, the MXB shop was working fine for me earlier. The only reason I could think of it being slow, maybe, is everyone trying to load it to get the track password. That's all I can think of. Oh, it might just be on your end as well, but I've not had any issues with it today. But the, uh, no, that, that website's run completely separately from anything Poboso related, so the DDoSing won't affect it at all. Idea have done it just based on a Discord name, but nothing other than that. I don't know where else you're meant to go if it's just a random Discord account. Hopefully, though, Mr. Favoso will now uh, take the time to try and make DDoS attack proof servers. That'd be good. Someone in chat, Nico, said the website's not functioning. I feel like it might be on uh, on layer end. So I've had no issues with it today. Thought it might be slow, based on people trying to get the password for this track, but uh, it was it was fine earlier for me. I'd be a very happy man, I think, to get the uh, old husky in second place. I don't believe that has been done this year. The white bike, some love. Although, the deeper these uh, ruts get in, the more difficulty I'm finding staying in them. Hear the foot pegs dragging around in the corners as well. Oh, hold on to a random lapper. JB. And JB. JB had a really good race at Germany last week. Torsion Tour. He's down. He's down a bit bad this time. I think it was JB that was running the Husky 350. Husky won NA last week. Oh god, okay. I'll, uh, I'll shut my mouth then. I... No, I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't do Germany uh, NA, did I? I think I was uh, not feeling the track after the EU performance that I had. Y you would probably find a pattern. Usually, tracks that I. Um... Well, I guess I'm going inside it. Tracks that I usually do alright on in EU, I, I quite often tend to do them in NA as well. Then one that I've had an absolute nightmare on. Unless I feel like I could have done better and I won't just like if I feel like I got hard done by by lappers or something maybe, but other than that I don't tend to do it. No desire to be staying up late for something that I don't enjoy. Oh, 
his hell was it? I had no idea. Yeah, this looks like he's human, he's making mistakes as well. Oh, we're a long way into this race, we're already two thirds through. Flying by, usually these feel like they take quite long. You see how much faster he is, he just scrubs everything so hard and his corner speed's just better. Is Bear going to be a good lapper for me today? Bear, please stay in the right. I think Hells is just having fun taking out whoever that lap was because he intentionally went out of his way to slam on the brakes and try and take him out. I have no idea who it was, I didn't pay enough attention, I was trying not to crash myself. But I don't think this is a, um, a legitimate P1 right now, I think he might just be stopping and having fun. In that right, it is. Oh, have I got? I think I've got cuts. Some front end issues going on it. Now we get you. Oh, off we go. Take care. Please let me back on without any issues. Please, please. Let's get to the top. Get to the top. Yes! It's good! Just waiting for it to uh, start going all wonky on me. My cuts are only a second. That? Some weird stuff going on there. Do you see how easy my life would be if this man didn't exist? We've got 41 seconds back to P3. Oh, take me back to 2022 Supercross season. When skills and hells were AFK. Everything was nice and simple, nice and easy.
There's a massive train of lepers we've come up to. It. I feel like we've actually lapsed that many people. going to be cuts, Jesus Christ. Might be an extra one added onto my already existing one. Yep. I'm glad I'm not the only person struggling in that lift. Or in general, he's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit huckabuck. He's going inside, inside, messing, missing out all of that deep stuff. I respect it. A little bit different. Arsy Footpeg said no. That's exactly what that was, by the way. The uh, footpegs dug into the ground. Was the bike to twitch? Completely missed that. <laughs> We're both getting so sketchy, man. Look back at me, you fuck.
it's going to be another second. God damn it. Silly little mistake, going through the bells there. Yep, got like four seconds cuts now. Side now, yep. <laughs> That's a one time, one time pass, I think. Oh, there we go. The good old floppy bikes in MX bikes. You can't change your direction on this game. If you're turning right, if you've got a left hander afterwards, you're you're in trouble. You're going to flop from one side to the other. All the weights in the rider's head. That was a very fun battle up till then. Oh my Christ. My front wheel has actually exploded. Nothing new in this game though. You crash once, you'll, you'll crash again. Just notice that we had actually lapped P5 there, which is pretty wild. going on uh, a good couple of laps and now we're back to a 15 second gap that's wild how the turn tables happens very quickly difficult when you get lapping up into these positions because usually the riders actually end up being faster than me. The only reason I'm lapping them is because I've been more consistent throughout the race. Alright, Fafleet has already let me by twice so I feel bad trying to lap him again. Explode the front end this time. Thank you. Oh, that's the last lap. I have to give uh, Hell's good old GR after this. That was fun. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I think it was must have been dark that Hell's was going for then. Jeez, right, let's have a look. What's going on here? Read the chat back a little bit. I was just crowning in a lab. Yeah, you're not wrong. He is pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with that pass around the outside. Shame it didn't uh, didn't last too long. I think Hells has changed off of that 100% uh, lean now. I think he's changed it. Started playing with 110 FOV from 130. I've, I've actually changed to 115 now at the moment. I don't know why. I think it's kind of helped me. It slows me down a little bit because I think everything ha is happening around me really, really fast. <clears throat> that was a real nice pass around the outside. Thank you, sir. I see a lot going on about the FC. Uh, it's been warned aerial or racing oriented tracks. I think uh, it's hard to say about TFC tracks at the moment. We've not actually seen anything by him 
from him yet. I know that Stoney is telling him what he wants and how to do it. So I don't think we're going to get the TFC tracks that we, that we have right now for Aerial. I think they're going to be rougher, they're going to be more technical, the ruts are going to be better, so on and so forth. It'll be fine. I mean, we can't we can't pass any judgment until uh, race one Leah. Yeah, that wasn't uh, that wasn't too shabby for the old husky, was it? That was all right. It's good, thank you, Glenn. Thank you. I hope you're all right as well. Nice to see you back, man. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, dark move for blue flag. I was playing with sound through my monitor. I couldn't change it before the race. Anyone else? That's uh, just, just, just bad. L, L lap of things, I think. Although, I don't think he got in my way that time. I think he was fine. Top 15 when my house had a power cut. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a rip. This is what I mean. Like, if hells didn't exist, look how uh, nice and easy that race would have been for me. It would have been happy days. The fact that they've lapped everybody up to P4 again is just disgusting. We've done that at Erne as well. Uh, Erne was my favourite one this year, Glenn. Um, I think Hells is in the championship lead by a long shot, Shifty. Let me, I can have a look for you real quick. Let's, let's, uh, let's have a look. Boss are in between motors. Makes up a bit bigger as well. There we go. Uh, MXB GP. Is this the right one? There's an NA one as well somewhere. Isn't there? I don't know. MX1. Have a look. Championship standings. That's actually too big. I don't like it. Next one. Points per round. So, yes, Mr. Hells is a long way out in front. He has won every single moto this year, except for three of them. Which I'm happy with, by the way, because one of them was me. Which round was Erne? This one? I think this was Erne right here. That's me. I've done that. I've put that 4 7 there <laughs> rather than a 50. He's nuts. Yeah, my points have been uh, pretty meh in the rounds that I've done. Although this was Sardinia, and my game crashed in Moto 2 whilst I was leading. Well, that's an L. Uh, done all right there. I can't actually remember which one it was. That was Erne. That was Toyshantor, which I've done absolutely garbo at. But yeah, somehow I'm in 11th after missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rounds. I'll take it. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Seems like uh, the lap people are saying that they were getting blue flag when they shouldn't have had the blue flag. So when they was actually meant to move for the blue flag, it was confusing. It's fair enough. I get that. <clears throat> uh, two years isn't long for 12 tracks. Some take three months. Yeah, I mean, tracks do take a long time. Uh, JV is definitely pumping out the content at the moment. Oh, I think you're referring to TFC, actually. I think TFC took a lot of breaks in that time as well, though. I think he just uh, up. I don't want to put words out there that might not be true, but some of the tracks do feel a little bit unfinished. So I think he might have just wanted to get them out at the end of it. He might have been over it. We are. We're going again already. We're going to Moto Two. Okay. I don't know if they've reset the track, but that road going into Turn One looks very odd. And it's like it just stops. I'm hoping it's because I'm a certain distance away from it. Uh, very limited sleep, Chris. I had about four and a half hours after the stream on Monday. Got nobody to my right. What's going on? Mm, 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 mm. Right, we're into race two already. I wasn't ready for this. That's two L. There's there is not thirty five people here. That's annoying. Oh, of course I've got in somebody that stopped on the inside again. Yeah, I eat. Am I going to get put over a berm? No. Love that. Track goes to the right, sir, not the left. I am stuck on a bike. Ah, not not the best, uh, not the most ideal start in the world. 
right, now we get to see it. What is going on with my bike? Jesus Christ. Now we get to see how fun it is trying to come through the pack on uh, this tight, twisty track. Oh, that was another rhyme. This should be fun. I, I say fun, it should be different. It should be interesting. Although, when you think about it, if we had a minute gap to uh, P3, there's no reason why I shouldn't be coming through and getting like at least a second hit. Like, ignore me. Like, I had other ideas because, you know, the erode on this game is absolute dog shite and it creates a scale electric track. Right, we go again. all the bikes. You absolute tosser. I can't say that. I looked back and it was Wes. Wes, that was a low IQ mistake. Now people are going to run into me because I'm stuck in the main line. Just refresh your stream if it's lagging, Lucas. It's not me. I'm not sure why people don't try refreshing the stream before comment this stream lagging. We have got a hell of a moto coming up on our hands here. We are back back. Nice, oh, so we're getting uh, quite a lot of orange on the track recently. Seems to be the main bike at the moment, rather than, of the, other than the Yamaha. There's not enough room in this corner for this many bikes. I actually quite like that inside. Not causing as many issues as the outside was to my front wheel. I think we're inside the top 20, which ain't too shabby. Ben's in the lead again. Ben getting them whole shots. Jeez. Come on, Kirill. Speed her up a bit. I mean, it's like past the track like that. There's, there's no other place for me to go to try and get past. You just have to sit behind and wait. Be patient. I'm not stopping for this inside. Yeah, didn't get on the brakes early enough. Oh, last bit of lag we had there. It's past people, man. Because it's such a fast track, it's very hard to know what line people are uh, taking until you actually get to the corner. And then by that point, it's usually a little bit too late. Roadblocks to get going again. Held my lines, I pulled away, so I don't think that was on me. I think that was just unfortunate race incident by people coming over a blind jump. That's fine. Once we get settled into this race, it'll be Gucci. Once we're about usually 10 minutes deep, that's when I get a flow going. Oh my Christ, how are these people surviving? Ooh, break! Break! Screw it, I'm not going there. Who's this waving at me? Or waving at someone?
Oh, finally, we've got a little bit of breathing room. We've got clear track now. It's actually a lot of clear track. Where's everyone gone? I'm kind of debating on whether standing or sitting in that off camp corner is better. I've not worked it out yet. I don't know which one I want. Oh, it's starting to get some death holes appearing in that outside. Noted in the brain. I've just noticed that Hells is actually behind me. That's cool. Oh, he's li literally behind me. He's right there. Well, that was Fefalito on my cheeks. God's sake, man. Oh, just husky things. I don't think the Yami would have slid out there. Don't you, don't you dare. That's what I mean, my man. The bikes are so unstable. I want the Beta 17 OEMs back. When my rider could, uh, could hold on to the handlebars in corners. Without the front end tucking and knifing on me. Just one less thing to worry about. What am I doing, man? I hate when this happens. It, this happens far too much as well. I could have a really good first moto, and then moto 2 will just go to absolute crap. That's usually just really, re really weird stuff that the bike does. This is my inside rut, by the way. I'm just throwing it out there, gents. Gonna be a bike magnet. No, we're good. It's good. My inside dark. Don't know what to tell you, mate. Sorry. By the way. How much? Oh my god! I'm sitting like 16th. This is awful. I was doing a little bit better than that. There's still a good finish on the table. I'm only 28 seconds off the lead for crying out loud. There is still time. Just need to pull it together. Up to 11th now, apparently. Yo, I eat. I don't know if I'm stopping for this inside. Oh no, that's fine. I expected to get a much worse bounce when I landed that down here. That's what I want. I want to lean forwards on the takeoff of that so my back end doesn't clip it. That's what's been causing me to get all kinds of sideways. So frustrating, man. I just have to sit and wait. I can't do anything. I can't cut down more in the corner because there's just one deep rut there. My front end would wash if I tried to. Oh wait, I just made that inside work. Jesus. Surprise myself. I just didn't want to follow. I'm not taking that inside line anymore. That's two laps in a row that's happened. I am going to go outside in there from now on. Learn from the mistakes. Try and change it.
Dorian's in a chance for an overall here as well, with a free one, if he stays where he is. We're moving up though, we're getting there. Oh, why do I talk? You're stuck on the bloody rut. Because this game loves dicking me over in every way possible. If there was a, um, if there was a bad way for your bike to land in this game, you best, uh, you best know that that's happening to me. Things with these crashes as well. I don't feel like I'm trying to go too fast. I think it is just a skill issue. Just not leaning enough for the right time, or accelerating too hard and sliding out, or not leaning forwards in the correct place in the corner so the front wheel doesn't get super light. They're all, they're all fixable. I only have one or two where I'm just like baffled as to why I've crashed. The other ones do make sense. Alright, outside in this next corner. Got to remember. Oh, oh. Also got to remember that switching from one side to the other is hella sketchy, so I've got to be very, very gentle. I think Hull still comes back to win this. He's only 12 seconds off the lead. Pretty wild. Do we think Jerem takes inside or outside? He goes inside. That is a shame. I wanted to leave him more room than that, but I was scared that if I went further inside rather than sitting in the rut that I'd get sketchy. Do keep clipping that, that hole on the entrance, which is scaring me. I feel like I keep getting to uh, Kirill here, in the same part of the track every single time. nothing to try and make a pass. Why can't everyone do that as soon as I get behind them? Just crash. Just do that for me. Got Dimitri here. Yeah, Dimitri got fourth in my one, which is actually nuts. I don't think I've ever seen him get that high. where he is, he didn't want to fight it too much. I did check up to like give him the room in case he was fighting for it. now we've got a lot of open track in front of us and we just need to push 24 seconds behind definitely doable we've got 14 minutes plus two laps to go
Then my lap time this lap's a hell of a lot slower. So 135. I'm going to 32 or 31 in the first mile. I'm not even going to try and get to that inside rut. What? Okay. Go on, then make me crash after all the front flips. God damn it, man. So frustrating. I'm not going to go over to the outside there because Dimitri would land on me. Now we've got to go to work again. sketchy again. It's actually pathetic how wobbly the bike is in a straight line. And again. I have to watch back some of these races just to see what my stick inputs are when these wobbles are happening because I feel like I'm not actually turning. It's just all doing it itself with the, the virtual rider trying to fight what I'm doing the whole time. Coco here, P23. Crazy how you can barely get over that double anymore. Crazy, crazy. Definitely get P3 here, I just need to put my consistent pants on. Try to keep it in first gear coming out of there. That was a bit better. I know I'm coming out of the corner a lot slower than usual, where it's getting so deep. And then second gear is causing me to bog a bit, and then I'm flopping side to side, so... First gear, no okay. Oh, probably cuts. Very rare occasion where you go down to first on a 450, but... Yeah, that is now. Dorian's made a big mistake. I was in the lead now. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, I didn't get cuts. Interesting. Oh, it was trying. It was <laughs> it started fishtailing on me. Right, 15 seconds is the gap from me to P2 right now. It's longer than 15 seconds now because I can't turn on this game. I think a lot of the crashes that you're seeing in this where the front end goes super light and then tucks and wobbles, that is what I was actually scared of before the season started, which is why I started doing 250s, because it doesn't happen on the 250s. It is just a 450 thing. Although, all the tracks that I tried up until now really wasn't that bad, and I'm wondering now if it is just a Yamaha OP thing. So I'm noticing there a hell of a lot in this race. I'm having to stay right over the front of the bike all the time just to try and push down on the bars to stop it getting super light. Now Hells has made a massive mistake and Ben's in the lead. Let's go, Ben. Oh, 
I keep making mistakes though, this is going to be as far as we uh, find ourselves getting up the rankings, which is a shame. Turn into prime prime efforts just standing up everywhere. Flag for a split second. What's going on here? Then? Four one three. That is a lapper. Doesn't matter. Wrong. Yeah, another, another yellow flag. Can it be a position? It's like a three-way battle for the league going on right now within the space of a second. Hopefully they'll slow each other down and I can come and pounce, maybe. Oh, this is Dorian here. This is a position. Oh, it's checked up way too much. Negative Riz. L gamer moment. Welcome to Chili's. Off Athleto, not the race line, man. For fuck's sake. Ah, oh, all that work's just ruined by lappers, man. God damn it. Time is running out. My oh, Christ. Go on, let the bike hit me. Jesus, I couldn't have gone any further to the right there without going through the bells. Just, oh man, this, the game is actually triggering me. What are these bikes? Well, how, it's so unrealistic, it's so frustrating. Either don't tuck the front end and keep it there, or tuck the front end and just make me crash. Don't make me yeet the bars to the side for a couple of seconds and then flip me up the other direction. I'm going to end up P3 overruler. But I've definitely had the speed. Dog shit start. Couple of mistakes. Lots of Peboso physics.
was a weird little, weird little bump. I didn't expect to get all the way up and over that. We got three minutes plus two. Ben actually has cards. So I haven't got to beat Ben on track, but Dorian's the one that I need to beat. Dorian got third last moto. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Games. Dog shit. Front end physics said no again. I don't understand how professional motocross riders' arms can be so weak. Ben's having nightmares with the physics as well, so it's not just me. I mean, Hells hasn't even like disappeared out in front, he's just chilling, so... Hoping everyone's having issues. Oh god. Went into that corner a lot tighter than I would have liked. get second. I never thought I'd be so like motivated to get a P2 in my life. We are running out of time. Can't turn smoothly, the bike keeps twitching. Lapper and then Dorian in front of the lapper. I'll pick a line, don't sit in the middle of the track. I'll jump too far, the front end's going to twitch on me when I land. Please um, ignore what I say during this race, by the way, because I am currently rage riding. I'm aware that people probably are doing nothing wrong. You just in me. Let me have my uh, let me have, have my five minutes. Come here, Dorian. Slow down, please. follow here. It's a very tight section where I'm probably not going to make a pass. Actually, I don't think he goes outside in this corner. Oh, fair play. He held his line there really well. He could have just moved over and blocked. Double you from him. Oh. And then getting a little bit spicy. I'm only 13 seconds off of Hells, so I know for a fact that everyone's struggling, but it's, it doesn't make frustrating, like the struggling any less frustrating.
I don't like how Dorian was chilling and now I'm passing me, just like barking on my cheeks. That's a lot of pressure. Hit this little little jump here in a dead straight line, so I don't get them horrible front end kicks. Um, oh, sorry, Violet. I've just seen your donation, by the way. I see you out the corner of my eye. Sorry, I've been concentrating so hard. Oh, I, again, I probably shouldn't have looked because now I'm dead again and I'm gonna lose P2. Why did I say anything? It's uh, it's been kicking. It's been kicking. Sorry. Let me uh, let me concentrate. I think. Oh God, it's the last lap. I'll catch up and pass this man. My bad pimp. I'd see the five. I appreciate the five. Just gotta concentrate right now. Oh hell lappers. Oh, that was close. Oh, in for this P2. forwards all the way around that corner seems to stop any of the uh, the weird front end stuff but it's really horrible to do because I'm so used to leaning back quite often seeing a lot of my bike that when I lean right forwards my turning gets messed up just from like a perspective it looks weird like turning when your head's right over the front of the bike well I'll certainly take coming back from such a god awful start and getting second but there was no need for that race to be as stressful as it was for me. Oh, God. I'll take it. <laughs> it looks like everyone was struggling, not just me, but yeah, like I said, it doesn't make it any less frustrating when you get all these weird moments happening. So um, let me go, let me backtrack a bit. Violet, I hope you're still here. Sorry that I've missed it at first. Um, it's been alright. It's been alright. Just, just a stressful, stressful last race there. Um, and then also, oh, McFlurry's back as well. Thank you, sir. Odium money. I'll take it. I'll take it. God damn. Why do I get so stressed out at this L game? I don't know why. Oh, hang on. My girlfriend texted me like an hour ago as well. Yeah. Uh, when do you have a video on my track? Uh, I'm guessing that it's Noxo Supercross. And I will do. I'll, I'll do it on it at some point. There's just a lot of tracks to choose from at the moment. It do be. Uh, shame I couldn't watch it, but big dubs on podium. And yeah, to be fair, we did get the Husky on the podium. So I'll take it. Get Dorian with the uh, good race. I feel like that there was a period in time where Dorian was like my arch nemesis. And any time I was on the track with him, something went horrifically wrong. But that, that has definitely changed over the last year or so. He's been uh, riding very, very smart. I appreciate it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I am going to end the stream now, boys, but um, I want to record a video. Not on stream, I'll do it off stream. I'll add everyone in my Discord. Um, the Speedway track that got released, it's essentially a figure of eight. And I think it would be quite fun to do like a demolition derby type race on the figure of eight. Uh, move this over here. So that's all ready. Um, I just want to check before I do anything, I want to see if it's actually up, like if it's on the server manager. Uh, I think it's called, oh god, what is it? I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It is, let's be mods, let's have a look. It's called, uh, tracks, it, this one, Warren County Speedway, created by Jay. I updated the data, so right, hopefully let's have a look, let's see if it is actually. Apparently it's taken a long time for my server to stop. Shame. Uh, there we go. Right. Let's have a look. Go to... Should be under motocross, I'm guessing. Motocross. Let's go down to the dubs, the W's. 
or in County Speedway. It's there. Lovely stuff. So um, keep an eye on my Discord server over the next 15 minutes or so. Um, I'll put a server up and we'll uh, we'll have some fun because like, this looks this looks very very entertaining. I'm very excited for it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do like do you reckon 20 laps maybe. 20 should be good. It's not as fast as the Speedway track, I don't think, but should be good fun. Uh, thank you everyone for stopping by again. I am probably going to do NA because I love ruining my sleep schedule. So I hope you'll come and swing by for that if you're interested in watching it. And I'm going to peace out. Just keep an eye on the uh, keep an eye on the Discord. The link for it is down in the description as well if you've not joined it already. And I'm going to love you and leave you.